Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMadeVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you the sonic screwdriver working on various different systems. So this was built for the Wii and it would be ideal if you were playing games like Doctor Who. So you could pretend that you are the 11th Doctor with this Doctor Who sonic screwdriver. Now on the Wii obviously it works natively because it was made for the Wii but when you're using other things then you're going to have to use various different adapters. So Let's show you it working on other systems. For the Nintendo Switch, we just need to get an 8-bit DOE adapter, this one here. Plug it into a USB port on the side, hit the little sync button, and then hit the sync button on the Sonic screwdriver. And then you can see now it's synced up. We have a look up on screen. Right, okay, let's show you some gameplay. Well, let's move on. To get this working on the Xbox One, we're going to use a Titan One adapter. Plug that into a spare USB port on the Xbox One. We're then going to plug in an Xbox controller just to give it authorization. The batteries are out of this. Give it a few seconds until it goes to zero up here. And now we can unplug that and we're going to plug in a Bluetooth adapter to allow us to be able to use the sonic screwdriver. That's plugged in there like that, and now we just need to hit the sync button at the back. Then after a few seconds it will sync up, and now that will be working up on here. Okay, now to make it more playable, we're going to plug in a nunchuck into the bottom of it. And now we will be able to use this as well. Right, let's do a bit of Forza Horizon 3. Now the problem we've got is we haven't got triggers, so I can't accelerate, so I'm gonna to have to change the layout of it. So I'm gonna hit the plus button, and then I'm gonna go over to settings, press A, I'm gonna go down to controls, press A, and I'm gonna change the default layout to default layout nine, and that will put the accelerator here, and then the brake here and then we'll have left and right here. Okay, so you can see now, and it is working as an analog stick, so if I just do a small movement, you can see just small movements to the right and small movements to the left, and then big movements. And that will be brake and also reverse as well. But obviously, they're digital, they're not analog, so when it comes to accelerator and brake, it's all on or all off. There's no degree of uh, acceleration, you can't just do it a small bit. So if you're a die-hard Doctor Who fan, really, is there any better way to play Forza Horizon 3? I know everyone's shouting at the TV now, yes, there's about a hundred different better ways of playing it, but you got to admit, it's pretty good with the sonic screwdriver. Right, okay, I think we'll move on now. Let's connect it up to the PlayStation 4. To use the sonic screwdriver on the PlayStation 4, we're going to be using the Titan 1 adapter. So plug it into a spare USB port on the PlayStation, and then we're going to be using this little Bluetooth adapter into that. And then we're going to get our sonic screwdriver and tap the sync button. 
and there you go you can see it's paired up already and that is it bad thing is it's going to time itself out every I think it's about eight or nine minutes because it's like a security feature off the PlayStation now I'm not sure if there's a way around this or not on the Titan one on the Cronus Max there is which is a very similar adapter you can use a USB hub with the DualShock 4 controller, the PlayStation 4 controller plugged into it. So the adapter, Chronos Max, would go into here. This would go into the PlayStation, and then you can use this as long as you want. Unfortunately, I've only got the one Chronos Max, and currently it lives in my PlayStation Vita Portable, which is this unit here that I did for another video. So uh, I can't uh, take it out at the moment unless I want to dismantle this. Okay, so we're going to be limited to playing it for eight or nine minutes and then it's going to be disconnecting. It will reconnect again automatically, but it's enough to kick you out of the game. But listen, who said being Doctor Who was easy, hey? Right, okay, so to make it easy for ourselves, what we're going to do is we're going to plug in one of these controllers into the bottom of it, and then that will give us nearly the full range of buttons. We haven't got click in on the analog sticks, but we've got just about everything else. Right, let's do a bit of Horizon Zero Dawn. Right, okay, so we don't actually need this one, we're just going to be using this here. Now, without this controller, we're obviously very limited. So with this one now, you can see we can't even move around because it's working as a D-pad here. So there's not really much we can do apart from jump and dive around the place. Yeah, but there's no movements involved at all. Okay, let's move on. To use a sonic screwdriver on this Android device here, we're gonna be using a USB on the go cable. This is a micro USB. Plug it in to the port there. Again, we're using the 8-bit DOE adapter. Plugging it in there. And you will see it's got a little flashing light here. Let's tap the sync button. And it will go to flashing fast. And we just need to tap the sync button on the sonic screwdriver. There we go. They're now both synced up. And if you have a look, we're going to be using it in this orientation. And you can see it moving around up on screen there. Right, let's go to Classic Arcade. And what I can do is I can actually attach this tablet to the TV so we can play it on the big screen. So, plug it into the micro HDMI port. And now if you have a look, not only is it on the tablet, it's also up on the screen as well. So now I can sit back and play using this wirelessly. So this is Altered Beast. Right, let's try and beat this guy, then we'll move on. There we go. Now let's do the last one. This working on a PC. To connect up the sonic screwdriver to a PC, we're going to be using the 8-bit DOE adapter again. So I'm just going to plug that into a spare USB port and I'm just going to tap the sync button. I'm then going to tap the sync button on the controller as well. And you will see it's now paired up. 
and you can see it moving around up on screen. Right, okay, let's show you a bit of gameplay. Okay, so that's to parry, that's to shoot, and B at the back is to make it go small. Right, okay, let's do a bit of gameplay. Now, as you can see in this video, I've shown you a variety of different systems that you can get to work on the Sonic screwdriver and of course any other Wii accessory as well. Now is using this better than using the controllers that's designed for the system? No of course not, this video is just purely for a bit of fun just to show you that it can be done. Obviously if you're really into Doctor Who you might want to do this but uh, it's much harder to use this because A it's got to go through a load of different adapters and secondly it's not going to be as responsive and work as well as a proper controller. I mean you need to remember Xbox spent 100 million dollars on their controller so of course it's going to be far superior to this Doctor Who one here but still just a little bit of fun hopefully you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and please subscribe for more how-to videos take care bye now